السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہوپ آل آف یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے آئی کم اپ وتھ لیکچر نمبر ٹین وچ از اباؤٹ دا ٹائم میجرنگ انسٹرومنٹس اور مور پرٹیکولرلی اباؤٹ دا اسٹاپ واچ بیفور اسٹارٹنگ اوور لیکچر آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو شیئر اے کوٹیشن ٹائم از فری بٹ اٹس پرائز لیس You cannot own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. Once you have lost it, you can never get it back. Now the first thing is about the measurement of time. Imagine that you are stranded on an island. You do not have a watch or a mobile phone. How would you be able to tell the time? Can we tell the time by observing events that repeat at regular intervals? Yes, we can. For example, we can use season. There are four seasons in a year, winter, spring, summer, autumn, and they come once a year we can use phases of the moon the shape of the moon changes from a full moon to a crescent and back to a full moon again showing that a month has passed we can use sunsets the sun sets each day a day can be divided into 24 hours One hour can be divided into 60 minutes and a minute can be divided into 60 seconds. We can also use the position of the sun. In the old days, a sundial was used to tell the time of the day. The position of the shadow cast by the sun differs according to the time of the day. At noon, the sun is high in the sky. and in the evening it is low in the western sky so these are some natural phenomena occurring in the nature with the help of which we can observe events and tell about the time scientific work the observation of natural events is not accurate enough for example the time interval between the sunrise and a sunset is different in winters and summers the time intervals for scientific work have to be fixed they cannot change so for that case the instrument which is the more accurate one is the stopwatch Stopwatch is used to measure the time interval of an event. There are two types of stopwatches. Number one is the mechanical stopwatch. Second one is digital stopwatch. A mechanical stopwatch can measure a time interval up to a minimum of 0.1 second. And A digital stopwatch which is commonly used in the laboratories can measure a time interval as small as 0.01 second. So the digital stopwatch is more accurate because of its small least count. Now we will see how to use a stopwatch. A mechanical stopwatch has a knob that is used to wind the spring that powers the watch. It can also be used as a start, stop and reset button. 
the watch starts when the knob is pressed once if you press it again for the second time it stops and the watch will tell the time duration which we have measured for an event while the third press will bring the needle back to zero position. For the measurement of time by using the digital stopwatch, it uses the start stop button to start and stop the time interval for an event. If we press the start stop button, the time lapsed will be started. It stops when we press the button again and it, it indicates the time interval recorded by it between start and stop of an event. A reset button restores its initial zero setting. Now dear students, I am going to share your homework with you. There are two questions from your course book that is question number 1.10 and 1.11. First question is what is a stopwatch? What is the least count of a mechanical stopwatch you have used in the laboratories? Question number two is why do we need to measure extremely small interval of time? Kindly note down these questions and do this homework in your physics file. Thank you for listening. I hope you have enjoyed the lecture and you understand the today's lecture. If you have any kind of queries, you can write your question in the comment section given below. That's all for today. Take good care of yourself. Study well. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.